best saying I ever heard was patience is a virtue. And when it comes to Dragon Ball Legends, that is very, very true, especially with the game's main currency being Chrono Crystals. So this guide is for those that love saving their Chrono Crystals and using them only when they are hype units. Now, if you play your cards right, you should be able to save 5,000 Chrono Crystals per month if you follow my steps. Now, there is currently events that is giving Chrono Crystals like the gauntlet that we currently have and i would suggest that everyone finishes that because that gives you a total of 700 chrono crystals so that's where i'm starting you guys off with so we have 700 thus far and on top of that you can also add another 70 and that would be from your 10 chrono crystals per day and that would be 70 per week another form of chrono crystals that you can get would be from pvp now, we currently do not have a double PvP system or double PV PvP season. It's only a regular season. So the amount of gems that anyone would be able to get would be between 1,000 or 800. So the minimum gems that you should be able to receive is 800. And the maximum, if you don't play as consistent, would be 1,000. As long as you stay in the top 10,000, which is quite simple to do. And I do have a video about that in the description and I will link it to this video. So for argument's sake, I'll just add another thousand from PVP. When PVP resets, that's how much we are going to get. So if you add another thousand to that, it will give you another total, which is currently on the screen. So we have PVP, we have the gauntlet and we have our daily login. Another form of Chrono Crystals would be co-op, where you can get 300 Chrono Crystals from the shop, so as long as you have enough medals. And the total medals you need would be 4,500 uh, co-op medals to get that 300 gems. And then after that, if you still need more gems, another option would be story mode. Now with story mode, I would suggest getting at least one part of the story done or at least one to two books per week so that you don't finish all the story at once. You may need to have some story left or available when the anniversary comes so that you can still have extra gems there. Now, story mode will give you between 200 to 300 gems as well. And that would be another way of getting gems. And the last method that I would suggest using would be friendship. Now, maxing out friendship on characters is very, very tedious and very, very grindy. So the best method of doing friendship would be to go to story mode. And once you add story mode, you go to, uh, let me just get the book. You go to part six and you scroll down until you get to, let me just find it. I think it's chapter seven or eight somewhere. I uh, could be one of these. I think it's this one here. So yeah, you do this and then you put in the characters you want to increase their friendship with. So for example, you can list it by friendship rank here. You choose friendship rank and you choose those that is currently maybe on maybe on friendship level 4 or friendship level 5. And you would want to rank friendship level 4 to level 5. As much as possible because the more you do that the more chrono crystals you can get from the mission shop which is here so if you check the mission shop you can get chrono crystals just by ranking friendship and that goes up to 100 french friends which is about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's another thousand gems right there and that would be the amount of gems you can get currently for this specific month of january and obviously in February as well. Oh, and one last thing. Another way of getting Chrono Crystals is through the Tournament of Power, which would give you an additional 500 up to 1,000 gems, depending on what your rank or what group you are in in the Tournament of Power. Now, if you follow this until the anniversary and you get the total of 5,000 gems per month, you are going to have 20,000 and well over 20,000 gems by the time the anniversary starts, which is ideal for anyone that wants to summon for any hype units. I will be expanding on this guide as time goes on. If there is any further events, I will update it in another video. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it as always. And yeah, 
Hope you guys have an awesome Wednesday and an awesome first week of 2023. Cheers.